Welcome to the Concise NetHack video about enchanting armor and weapons in NetHack. The Concise NetHack videos show you what you need to know about specific NetHack areas without wasting your time. In this video, I'll talk about how to write and use scrolls of enchant armor and enchant weapon to maximize the enchantment of your items. For example, you can raise all of your armor to plus four or plus five enchantment and all of your weapons to plus six or plus seven, or even more if you're feeling lucky. Okay, you can safely enchant most armor to plus five. I think you can enchant elven armor to plus seven, but I don't do that. And you can safely enchant most weapons to plus seven. <clears throat> so what you need to know about scrolls of enchant armor and enchant weapon. Uncursed scrolls of enchant either um, armor or weapon that will enchant an item by one. So if you have a plus two weapon wielded, reading an uncursed scroll of enchant weapon will enchant it from plus two to plus three. Cursed scrolls decrease the enchantment by one, and blessed scrolls will increase the enchantment by somewhere between one and three, and that'll be one and two for highly enchanted objects already. So the strategy is to always bless your scrolls of enchantment before, well, almost always, before you read them. So reading a scroll of enchant weapon applies to your currently wielded main weapon. In, but enchant armor uh, enchants one randomly selected worn armor. So be, watch out. If you have a highly enchanted armor, take it off before you uh, try and read a enchant armor to enchant a lower enchanted armor. <clears throat> If your armor is at plus four, then it's too high to read a regular blessed scroll of enchant armor or even an uncursed scroll of enchant armor. What you want to do is uh, read a cursed scroll of enchant armor to take the enchantment down to plus three, then try again with a blessed scroll for plus five. The same thing applies to weapons that are plus six. Don't read an uh, uncursed or blessed enchant weapon. But you can use fewer scrolls because because if you engrave a single letter with uh, most bladed weapons, then that will dull them and increase the enchant or decrease the enchantment by one. I usually do all of this at once, about the time I'm ready for the castle level. That means that uh, it allows me to collect a bunch of um, scrolls, blank scrolls, or scrolls that I can blank, and also potions of holy water before I do this. All right. <clears throat> So here's what I have. <clears throat> I have a couple of magic markers I've identified, and so I can use these to write scrolls. I have also, um, so I got some blank scrolls, and I have one scroll of enchant weapon. It's not blessed, so I'll need to bless it. Um, I'll use a one of cancellation to blank my scrolls, but I could alternatively dip them in a fountain. So the first thing I'm going to do is dip my enchant weapon. Well, let me show you my... Uh, my weapons. I've got a plus five Grace Wonder. It's plus five. I can safely enchant it to plus six or plus seven. So I'm going to bless that scroll of enchant weapon and read it and see if I can get, well, I will get plus or plus, plus six or plus seven out of my Grace Wonder. So the scroll is T. I'm going to Alt D, T, D, T, and I'll dip it into D. And now my scroll is a blessed scroll of enchant weapon. I'm going to verify one more time. I verify a lot before I read these scrolls so I don't vaporize a, a weapon or armor. Okay, that's right. So now I'm going to read T, my scroll of enchant weapon, disappears, glows blue for a while. A moment, if it glows blue for a moment, it means it's taking it up by one. If it bl glows blue for a while, it's taking it up by more. And it vibrates to remind me you're getting close to vaporizing this. Now I have a plus seven grace one. There is my weapon in hand. That is great. Uh, let's look at my armor. I've already enchanted some of my armor. I'm wearing a plus zero Hawaiian shirt. My plus five silver dragon scale mail is too high. I can't enchant it anymore. Same with my cloak of magic resistance, but I can enchant my speed boots because they're only plus three and my gauntlets of power. They're only plus three and my Hawaiian shirt. So let's deal with this Elven King our Elven Lord and his scroll of Create Monster. I'm going to kick those five items. All right, sorry about the delay, but i got to get rid of the Golden Naga also. 
Okay. Uh, yes, sacrifice that and kick the wand for now. Don't kick the altar when you're doing that. I need um, <clears throat> I need at least at least six scrolls of enchant armor because I'll need at least two for this, at least uh, one for this, and one for this, and at least two for this, but more likely three. So I'll need six or seven scrolls. I've only got six. I'm going to zap a wand of cancellation at these just random scrolls here. These are scrolls that I'm not going to use, uh, so I'm going to blank them. So I have a wand of cancellation. It's J, zap, J, um, zap, J, that way. And all those scrolls now are blank paper. And as soon as I get rid of the critter here that's bothering me, it's an owlbear. Sacrifice it. Oh, pick up all those guys. I'm going to write some scrolls of enchant weapon. I don't have any now. I'm, I have adjusted my magic marker to M and my it's just because it's easy for me. And my scrolls are at N. So now I'm going to apply M N. So I'm applying my magic marker enchant armor. Apply M N. M N. I could write some scrolls of enchantment because my magic markers could be enchanted, but I think I've got enough for now. Uh, that's four enchant armor. Okay, that's enough to start. <clears throat> I'm going to take off anything that I don't want vaporized because it's too high. So that's my robe and my armor. Take off robe, take off armor, and... Now everything I'm wearing can be enchanted. So when I read the scroll of enchant armor, it will pick one of those items at random. Um, all right. Read what? Oh, I've only got five of them. All right. V. And my pair of speed boots glowed for a moment, so that took them up one. Once you hit armor at plus four, don't enchant it anymore. So take off S. I wish it had taken it up two, but it only took it up one. Read V. A helm of brilliance glows silver for a while. That took it up two or more. So it took it from plus zero to plus three. Nice. Read V. A helm of brilliance a while again. So now it's up to plus five. Take it off. Take off H. And I <clears throat> uh, can read again. Read V. Uh, gauntlets of power enchanted just once for one enchantment. They're up to plus four. That's good enough. If I wanted, I could get Curse Scrolls of Enchant Armor and take those back down to plus three and try and enchant them again, but I don't want to. Um, I have one more. Read V. Just just a moment, so it took from zero to one. Um, I have... Uh, my magic marker is down to uh, only four charges left. That's not enough to write a scroll. I'm going to swap I with M and use this magic marker. I'll adjust... I to M, apply M, N, chant, armor, read Y for a while. That's good up to plus, plus four. Okay, now I'm going to get totally dressed. Wear armor, wear robe, wear gloves, wear hat, wear shoes. <clears throat> so all of my armor is a plus five or plus four. It's as high as it can be enchanted. I could decrease the enchantment and try again for plus five on these. But my armor class now, I don't remember what it was before, but it's increased up to minus 34. I'm not wearing a shield. 34 is good enough to, uh, I, I like to get it up to around 40 where possible. 34 is good enough. That'll get me uh, enough to ascend. Um, that's it. That's all I want to cover for now. I hope you have enjoyed this concise NetHack video about enchanting armor and weapons. Thank you for watching.